basketball players at tiny Chaminade College in Hawaii are flying high, and with good reason. What they pulled off last night is the equivalent of Yankton College beating the University of Georgia in football. A Golden Glover knocking out heavyweight champ Larry Holmes. The Silver Swords of Chaminade beat the University of Virginia, the number one college team in the country. But there is little post-game revelry at the small Catholic college campus, where most of the student body is home for the holidays. Chaminade is not among the big-time college ranks. The athletic facility here is a shack, built more than 40 years ago. But Coach Merv Lopes knows his team is now etched in basketball history. The strategy was you know, for us to, to go out there and, and give the people who came to watch the number one the team in the nation you know, some good basketball. And win or lose, it wasn't you know, so much our plan. Our plan was to go out there and, uh, and play the best in the basketball we can. That's about it. The day after the game, how do you feel? Have you come back from the clouds yet? Oh, yeah, I feel fine. I'm happy for the guys and happy for the program, and I'm okay. Chaminade's Tony Randolph took on a tall assignment in College Player of the Year, Ralph Sampson. The two are old friends from back home in Virginia. In fact, Randolph dated Samson's sister. If we used to play street ball all the time, and you know, it would just be a joke of him guarding me. And so I think when he, he didn't really take it seriously in the game that I could shoot. You know, he was sagging back and he was, you know, let me take the 19-foot jumper. You know, which I was taking, it was just falling. So happy I was hot. These boosters felt confident from the start. I thought they had a chance of beating them. If uh, it was going to be a UVA victory, it would be close game, but uh, I think they did have a chance to beat UVA. And those chances solidified after you saw the halftime score? Yeah, they really did. What about um, you? When you saw the final outcome, uh, did you believe it? Yeah, I believed it because I thought we could do it. After we beat UH and then we lost the next game, I figured Virginia was in for trouble. And the president of the university says he went upstairs for help. I don't think it was luck. I think it was uh, these uh, players deserved this win last night. They some, for it. some people call it a miracle. You believe it? Well, I believe in miracles, you know. I mean, that, uh, that's part of my, uh, uh, my background, you know. <laughs> that, that, oh, yeah, we pray for these things, you know. <laughs> they happen. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. After the victory wears out, the Silver Swords must still deal with what little they have, an athletic facility that must make way for laundry, a training table, coaches' offices, and trophies. Chaminade took home the biggest trophy last night. Nestor Garcia, Channel 2 News.